average velocity, just as before we were able to take basic quantities of distance and time and come up with a new uh, quantity speed, at, at this time what we'll do is to marry the quantities of uh, displacement in the last time and come up with a new one, average velocity. So as we stated previously, speed is defined as the ratio of distance and time. So distance divided by time is speed. Similarly, the velocity is defined as the ratio of the displacement per unit time. So it's displacement per unit time. Really, they're the same. Both of these are measured in meters per second. And so if we look at the units for speed, we get meters divided by seconds. And down here for displacement, displacement is meters, time is seconds. They're very similar, but the one thing that makes them different is that velocity will have a sign. And that can be positive, negative, up, down, east, west, north, south, whichever you prefer. Uh, so average velocity is sign specific. Uh, and again, as we just stated, usually right is positive and left is negative, so the sign on the velocity is going to indicate the, or the sign on the displacement is going to indicate the sign on the velocity. Let's look at uh, a problem here. Which of these are vectors? Now remember, a vector has both a magnitude and a direction, so what we'll do is to look at these quantities and determine which of them have directions. Does time have a direction? No. How about distance? Distance is how far. That does not have a direction. It's not direction specific. And since speed is distance divided by time, that's out of the question because if distance is a scalar, does not have direction, it makes speed a scalar. And so finally, it leaves us with velocity. Velocity is how fast and the direction.